might have I a special know. eye weed it, button or K. something. Rool's new super armor is kind of annoying. I think, in my experience, trying out my main online, mo I didn't, obviously if Koppel is not most K. Rool's because he's obviously here in one of his quarters, looking at Min Min's tools, even if K. Rool is able to get crown and able to get cannonball out there, you still are able to be in a relatively safe distance in which none of those things really apply to you at all. Depending on the stage choice here, we're going to have to see how Koppel and Ruler can come to a decision. Usually we yeah. start off on PS2 and that's a situation where Min Min wants to be at. I think in this matchup particularly, if you're Koppel, you don't want to jump in the PS2, even though it's a common thing. But we'll see. Yeah, I think Ruler needs to heavily zone out um, Koppel's K rule. Yeah. Like, completely. <laughs> yeah, this is this is yeah, this is what I wanted to see, right? Like I said, you don't want a gentleman in PS2, and I think a stage such as this one would be much more advantageous in Koppel situations. But nonetheless, yeah, I'm actually surprised he let Koppel get this stage for game one. I gotta be honest. But he might just be really confident in his uh in then I just, oh wow! Oh, the yeah, jump with the jump. that spike, that spike box is actually pretty ridiculous. It's, it's, it's uh, it's really nice. Oh my! And this is what I'm talking about. Min Min's toolkit as a whole, like it's just she doesn't have much to worry about when it comes into phase of heavy, particularly K rule and Now yeah, this is like the worst scenario for Kabul because now he's behind and there's no oh. oh. That yep. Laser That's beams? Right. Yeah. That and actually, I think that actually is true. <laughs> she's the one character that like can actually hit characters like Halo and Snake when they try to go for the helicopter recovery. And that's what I'm telling you, like, it's... She just laughs about it because even though he can throw Crown and Cannonball, none of those things really apply to her just as so. Oh, he got armor, but you still took 55%. And you're on your last dog, buddy. Yeah, I actually am surprised um, it's going so well on Smashville. I thought this was probably the first stage. Yeah. It's gonna suck, You can never, you can never count on an opponent when they can finally get some momentum here. A really good opportunity for him to go from there. Challenge, challenge the, I wouldn't even know, I was gonna say, challenge the... the what, 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 yeah, the Megawatt. Because I was gonna say bear, but I was like, uh, wait, hold on. Confusing terms with the character and the game. One thing, uh, Ruler's been really smart about the up smash too. If he has the opportunity to reflect the projectiles. Oh. I'm actually surprised how high the reflector is. Like it's it's not just the front of the move, it's this actually is like the stock here, right? Well. Yeah, yeah that's that's the stock. Her tether recovery isn't as good as say Joker or even, I would argue, the Belmonts. This is rough, though. Yeah. It's just a ruler. Like, wow. That's the perfectly... Yeah, the spacing in which ruler actually decided to move more towards the stage was enough to cover those angles. If you tried to give... I don't know, man. It's self-explanatory. You see it on the screen, man. <laughs> this character indefinitely destroy invalidates characters like K-Roll, DK, I haven't seen the, the the Bowser matchup too much, but honestly, I think it almost speaks a little bit more for itself either way. I think that's the one thing Min Min accelerates in, is just... If you're not... For K. Rool, if you look at his toolkit, his reliance on Crown and Cannonball being a big, big centerpiece of his mutual, and not having the mo the I would say the speed in which to challenge that, in which many characters, per se, like a fox or a wolf do, where they can just go and jump over, her her arms, K Rule is not able to do that. And even if you are able to jump over her arms, it all comes down to if your opponent can react. Because that's still reactable for Minmin. So Yeah. I think there's only there's a few characters that can just jump in on her easily. Mm -hmm. and not worry about getting anti air. But oh, okay. yeah. Really rough for K Rule, I would say. I don't know. I thought that was his best stage to pick, so... And in hindsight, it is. Because, it's you know, it's a stage where 
Min Min won't have enough space, but she still has control of all the space. I think here, the thought process is, okay, I have a little bit more space to run around in terms of get away from it. And I think that contradicts myself a little bit in this situation where I'm saying like, oh yeah, k may want a smaller stage, but I think looking at it more closely here, I think k wants a little bit more space to escape in Min Min's arms. It's already a better start. Right, last match, he's already dead at this point. It might have just been a couple needing time to, to adjust. Min Min isn't exactly the most basic, or basic average time. character. Yeah. I think that's one of the things that makes her so unique is that she is kind of above the average character. And K. Rool, coincidentally, yeah. Kind of average when it comes down to his skill set and his abilities. And his I think the only thing he has going on for him is just uh, Billy Armor. Apples are very really good so far, though. Yeah, I like the way he's utilizing Crown instead of being so. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that move covers spot dodge. It's very accurate, but uh, a lot of people instinctively. One of the spot that move anyway, it's been so strong. And it can break shield if you like to make the shield. So now, another rough scenario where you're behind as K rule. But super nice. deep edge guard. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what She was like super dead to that board air too, because she drifted in a way where like yeah. she got hit by anything. Couldn't <laughs> back. I think Blue kind of put himself in a good spot too, because uh, like I said, here, uh, Min Min's recovery, her tether isn't as good as Joker or Blue Belmont's. Or even I have to back. Oh! A crown conversion! The Ollie you The Royal Ollie you Well, that's what he needs. And finally, he has the lead. Maybe he just makes Min Min approach a little bit more. Oh, oh bad scenario to be in, though. Good charge, good charge. That would have caught it. Maybe. Oh, wow. That would have been called out on the crown throw. Because that's actually, the way he's going to be coming out. Actually, he made Min Min so much. Yeah, I think, oh, the reason why, too, is I think the way that the crown works from what I've seen from Carol mostly is it's almost as a sharper body. And since the feet actually were the hurt box there, he did not get the counter. Okay, yeah, it's just drips over. Oh. Bringing the crown coming in clutch once again. Oh, no panic. So yeah. Strong. The one two punch. That was true. Up the roll and everything. Dang. That was a much better game for a couple there, but uh, really just going to take that to. Oh. As his name implies, really? all he has to do is just keep a distance. Sheesh. So yeah, uh, Ruler moves up to roll up against Koppel. And yeah, now he's gotta go up against, against Ben. ben. Mm. This is a matchup I also, when I think about it, in, in like a, my experience playing the character online against Zelda, I think Zelda has a slightly easier time just because she doesn't have that much of uh, frame data loss in terms of like, oh, I threw Knight, I can't move after Knight. Versus K. Roll, once he throws Crown, it's like he has to wait for a very couple frames, but Zelda's the one character that can actually move around and kind of trap you with her knight and use of Din's fire, and then have invulnerable tangibility with Nehru's love. Yeah, That's but let's talk about that matchup later before, because yeah. right now we have Sea Stream and Hen. Yep. So oh, we're gonna have oh. Pokemon Trainer and Hit? Bayo, Bayo, Bayo. That's right. I forgot, we I forgot. <laughs> When we originally saw a head on the stream, like I had confused him for Skilly. Mm. PT Bayo. Why do K rules up air like that off stage when nothing is near them? Because this up air covers the ledge, and it's a pretty, like, pretty misunderstood hitbox. But like, you can actually get hit by up air even if you're at the ledge. Plus, you also get armor because his belly has the armor. Anything, any move where his belly is out, which is most.